Moderna, or what's left of it. Bodies recovered, but nowhere for them to go. No dignity for the dead. Buildings, roads and cars destroyed in the nights by the wall of water. Some areas received instructions to evacuate, but some people didn't respond. They took matters lightly. Mustafa lives in a city. Then we heard that the dam had burst and the water had flooded the area. People were asleep and no one was ready. But this is what happened. What can we do? For me, my house is in the next valley, opposite the Al Sahaba Mosque. The whole family lives next to each other. We're all neighbours. We lost 30 people so far, 30 members of the same family. We haven't found anyone. It was too much for the two dams on the Wadi Derna River, which flows through the city and out to sea. This was the dam before and after. The floodwaters tearing through the city of 90,000 people, which after Storm Daniel looked like this. International search and rescue teams are arriving. This deployment is from Algeria, this one from Egypt, while the Palestinians are also sending teams. The government and the competent authorities are working to adopt a unified work mechanism to grant landing permits for aviation and aid in a gradual manner to ensure coordination and real benefit from any support. The government has begun coordination with international organisations and we are successively identifying needs. But the minister is speaking for Libya's government of national unity based in Tripoli, one of two which is running part of the country. The other, which isn't officially recognised by the international community, is based in Benghazi in the east, near Derna, leaving militias to fight for control in the rest of the country. The two governments have shown some cooperation with aid planes leaving Tripoli for the east. A chaotic, unstable, unsafe situation in the country makes the humanitarian effort even more complicated but not the country's vast oil and gas reserves, which appear to be secured despite the flooding, unlike Libya's crumbling infrastructure. Last year, a Libyan hydrologist, Abdelwaniz A.R. Ashour, warned repeated flooding was a threat to Derna. If a huge flood happens, he wrote, the result will be catastrophic for the people of the wadi in the city. The warning was ignored, and now the people are paying the price. Paul Hawkins, CGTN.